Greetings everyone and welcome to another moveset with commentary. Today we have number 17 which is Kaihime. So uh, Kaihime's weapon is called Serpent Chain and yeah it's a combination of uh, whip and a sword, basically the same thing that uh, Hanbe Takenake uses from Sengoku Basara. And Kai is normal attack oriented which means that she has uh, 8 power attacks and five strong hyper attacks. Uh, her special skill is really cool. It it goes like this: summon geysers to attack nearby enemies. Really cool skill. Now then, uh, square in air. Yeah, pretty cool. And uh, triangle in air is like this: slam, obviously. Okay, now let's go into her square string. Oh man, I love that finisher so much how she starts to walking it's uh, oh man one more time Okay, this is all good. Yeah, badass and oh damn marry me. Oh wh One more time one more time. Sorry guys. I'm so addicted to that. Oh Man, I could watch that all day long. All right. All right. So <laughs> let's not get too weird uh, now first power attack Okay launcher Second kick, but re really badass kick. I really like it. Yeah, now one, two, three. Okay, not bad. One, two, three, four. Yeah, uh, I think that Hanbe Takenaka has basically the same move in Sengoku Basara. Yeah, one, two, four. Yeah, I think it's the finisher, not finisher, but it's when you hold. Uh, L1 and you press uh, and you hold also a triangle he, he does something like that yeah so one two three four five okay I'm not sure if this is a if this is a uh, grab but we will we'll check that later one two three four five six Okay, that's also maybe grab. We'll find out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that was cool. Quite forceful. One, two, three, four. Oh, that was badass. And the eighth one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh no, this was the eighth one, so I missed the seventh. Oh damn it, silly me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, so that was the seventh one. Okay, I confused myself. So one more time, the sixth one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Okay. So now, uh, hyper string. Okay. So first strong hyper attack. Really cool. One, two. Oh man, so cool, so cool. One, two, three, again. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four, five. Very nice combo, very nice combo. So yeah, not a dull move in her hyper string. Now the R1. Oh man, it goes for a very long time. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> I. It's a long of geysers. Okay. So now uh, let's summon the horse, and this is her horse string. First, one, two, and one, two, three. It's like this. Now then, uh, let's go where the action is. Mm -hmm. And let's demonstrate uh, some of our moves. Okay. The kick is really fun. Yeah, this is really crowd killer, the fourth one. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, it was a grab. Okay, so oh officer <laughs> I 
<laughs> I basically did the same thing what Hulk did to Loki in Avengers. <laughs> One more time. That was badass. So now let's uh, demonstrate our Muso. And yeah, I really appreciate it. She's a water type user. Uh, it, it's really rare in these games. So let's gain uh, another Muso uh, gauge so that we can demonstrate our Muso frenzy. Man, her voice is so intense. And yeah, her Muso Frenzy is not like really impressive, but it's it's water, so yeah, I, I appreciate that. Uh, now, to Kaihime herself, uh, let's skip the history uh, part, because there's quite a lot about her and I don't remember everything, so... And, and it's really interesting, so I don't want to screw that up. Uh... But yeah, uh, I, I really like her. She, she has interesting moves. Uh, she's, she's a real eye pleaser. And yeah, she's the perfect combination of badass and cute. I absolutely adore how she she's dressed and undressed at the same time. You know that I really have a fetish for people who wear their uh, <laughs> clothes only, only on one shoulder. <laughs> and yeah, I mean... I already said that the uh, whip is one of my three favorite weapons, so yeah, and uh, what else to say about her? I don't know, she's just, she's just really likable. And fun little fact, I mean this is something that I cannot appreciate because I don't speak Japanese, but I heard that uh, she speaks like a very modern uh, Japanese in comparison with other characters. So yeah, uh, that's that. And so yeah guys, tell me what do you think, uh, well it's not like I'm ending the video right here, but um, yeah, I mean she's, she's really cool, she has a lot of good moves and she, she's, she's pretty, she's hot and what else you want to hear about Kaihime, she's, she's super cool, I really like her and her personality is a little bit obnoxious, but I can let that slip because she she, she's really pretty and she has cool moves, so yeah. And uh, if this video would get any longer, I would just repeat myself. She's hot, she's good, she's got good moves, she has a whip, oh, she, she, she has nice dress and she's hot. Oh, did I mention that she's, she has a good moves? Yeah, <laughs> so that's Kaihime for me. She's not in Sengoku Basara, so I cannot compare her with anyone. And yeah, so let's go into the history department. So let's see, uh, Kai or Kai Hime, I don't know why they sometimes wrote her with, without the Hime and sometimes with the Hime, but that's not important. Uh, the beautiful daughter of Hojo retainer Ujinaga Narita, uh, during the Toyotomi's conquest of Odawara, she dealt heavy damage to Mitsunari's Ishida's army when they attacked Oshi Castle. Oh man, I we need Kai in Sengoku Basara. I, I want that freaking insane Mitsunari Ishida to, to get his ass handed to him by this badass female. Please, please let Kai into Sengoku Basara. Um, so let's continue. When enemy reinforcements led by Nagamasa Asano, Masayuki Sanada and Yukimura Sanada arrived, she went after the officers herself. Oh man, what a beast. After hearing of her bravery, Hideyoshi Toyotomi made her his concubine. I mean, this would be uh, really funny, you know, because uh, in Sengoku Basara, Hideyoshi Toyotomi is kinda... He's not really interested in, in women and, you know, Nene is dead in Sengoku Basara. So it would be really cool to get Kai in there and, you know, made Hideyoshi a little blush, you know? <laughs> uh, it would be it would be really uh, ridiculous. Just imagine this, okay? Mitsunari Ishida returns to Hideyoshi Toyotomi and he's like, this this Kai chick, she 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 
She humiliated me, Hideyoshi Sama. <laughs> and Hideyoshi is like, mm, let me see. Oh man, she's kind of cute and she's really brave. I, I feel something that I never felt before or something that I thought I wouldn't feel anymore. Oh man, let me check this guy, chick. <laughs> uh, so she was rescued during the Osaka campaign along with Hideyori Toyotomi's daughter. So yeah, that's, that's Kai Hime or Kai. Um, I, I just really want her in Sengoku Basara. We, we need more female badasses in, in Sengoku Basara. Kai Hime and also... Um, what's, what's her name? God freaking damn it. Uh, let's check where is she. <laughs> I totally forgot. But we need her also. Yeah, Ginchio Tachibana. My poor memory. Okay, so uh, that's everything from me, guys. Tell me what do you think about Kai or Kai Hime. And yeah, well, that's, that's everything from me. So, farewell.